Believe it or not, Gemini has been out for a whole year now, and since its launch, I've used it almost every single day. During that time, I've learned a lot about what these AI chatbots can do, and while I'm working on a full review, I wanted to put together a super simple video covering some of the best ways I've used Gemini, along with some general tips that I think you should know about. I will say, some of these examples do show a deeply personal way in which I use Gemini, but I do think it is worth sharing as it might give you guys some ideas on how to maximize your usage. So, so without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. And if you enjoy content like this, which I really hope you do, consider subscribing to the 9to5 Google YouTube channel because we have a lot more content like this coming your way. I think the first and most common reason someone should use Gemini is when it comes to having tough conversations. Let's be honest here, probably every one of you has had a tough conversation in the past week or two, and admittedly, not everyone is good at navigating those. If you're one of those people, then you need to include Gemini in your responses. Most most of the time, I'm using Gemini in my conversations to get insight on how to respond to a certain situation. Typically, it's a complex social issue, but it can also be helpful when navigating conflict, setting boundaries, delivering constructive criticism, or even sending an apology. Or on a broader level, sometimes I'm simply overwhelmed in my day-to-day -day life and I genuinely don't know how to respond to someone in a certain situation. Maybe it's due to mental fatigue from a long work day or mental exhaustion for whatever reason. In these situations, I I tap into Gemini to get helpful ideas. Sometimes that means taking a screenshot of my conversation and uploading it directly to Gemini where it can analyze and then give me a response. Other times I'll open a new thread and explain to Gemini what's going on and ask for several insights in ways to respond. It typically does a great job recapping the situation and giving me a lot of options to consider. To be clear, I am definitely not advocating for you to tell Gemini what's going on and then copy and paste the response, but if you give Gemini the context and tell it the outcome you're looking for, you can get a lot of different ideas and alternate perspectives on how to gracefully and confidently resolve an issue while also helping you find the right words to express what you're trying to say. Another incredibly common but very useful way I'm using Gemini is to add more context to just about anything in my daily life, and I do this all the time as someone that identifies and really loves to be a lifelong learner. For me, if I'm at a new restaurant with menu items I've never seen before, I just take a picture of it and send it to Gemini. Gemini where I can get a full breakdown and understand at least what I'm thinking about ordering. If I'm at a new place like a city park or a historical type location, I tell Gemini where I am and ask for a brief overview of the history so I'm just more aware of my surroundings. I do read my Bible pretty much every day and quite often there are concepts that I don't understand at all. That's another area where I'll ask Gemini for help, maybe with some historical context or trying to understand the cultural climate of some of these biblical stories. I do this because I want to have grounded information to truly understand the entirety of a passage, and to be clear, this can work with any kind of book, by the way. Basically, anything where I want to get a quick, base-level understanding of something, I always ask Gemini so I'm not completely in the dark. Obviously, because it's AI, I'm going to take the information I'm receiving with some kind of grain of salt, but it's a really solid starting point to get more familiar with your surroundings or understand the why behind a topic that's new to you. One thing I will say is a lot of us do have to eat better, and if you're struggling with ideas, then this is another area where Gemini can take a lot off your plate, no pun intended. In my time with Gemini, I've shown it ingredients in my fridge and then asked it what meals I could make. I've been in the grocery store with a dish in mind and asked Gemini for a list of ingredients to buy. I've asked Gemini for help substituting some items for whatever was more readily available at that time. And lately, I've been working out a lot and I am trying to bulk up and Gemini has been so useful for generating the healthiest, highest protein meals that I can either make at home or if I'm out and about, it can recommend me some high protein meals at nearby restaurants or takeout, for example. This aspect alone has saved me hours per week as I don't have to meticulously plan or overthink what I'm going to eat for the day. Sure, don't get me wrong, you definitely should have a good relationship with a solid nutritionist if you have a medical situation or if you're an athlete, let's say, but for general, average consumer use, this has been really helpful for getting me on track. For me, this next one is my absolute favorite way to use Gemini, and that's for daily journaling. And as a side note, we 100% need a Gemini powered journaling app if anyone out there is listening. I'm sure it would probably be one of the best on the market because Gemini is so good at taking in and processing journal entries, either for the day or for an ongoing situation that's happening in your life, where in that case, I'll use the same Gemini thread over and over to keep discussing an ongoing situation that might take weeks or months to resolve. This has been really useful for me because Gemini will remember people, your goals, 
goals, your interactions. You can keep track of your mood and mental state. You can have it recall entries you described to it in the past, at least if you're using the same ongoing thread. And most importantly, you can ask it for insight and analysis on your situation, which makes it an awesome sounding board if you're someone that has a lot on your mind like me. I want to give you a quick tip though. If you plan on using Gemini to journal, I find you don't actually have to type out this absurdly long entry. Personally, I use text-to-speech in Google Keep and then copy and paste the text, adding a directional prompt at the end to analyze my day, let's say. Or if you have a Pixel phone, you can speak into the Pixel Recorder app and then have it transcribe your ramblings into text where you can copy and paste it from there. All I gotta say is Google, if you're listening, please, please give us a Gemini powered journaling app. Make it easy for us to use Gemini in that way. I think it would be a really good addition to the Pixel services portfolio and definitely outdo that Apple journaling app, at least to me. This next one isn't really a prompt or a certain way to use Gemini, but I do think it is a really good idea to keep your chats and conversations organized within Gemini. Admittedly, as a daily user, this is something I wish could be done better, or I wish there was a cleaner way to keep my threads organized, but but for now, I highly encourage you to pin conversations that you plan to frequently come back to over the next few weeks and name them accordingly. For passing conversations or random questions, I really don't think you have to worry too much. But for example, if you have a thread for journaling and a thread for another situation and a thread for gaming questions and cooking questions, keep them pinned and labeled accordingly and you'll definitely thank me later. For this next piece of advice, I already mentioned it in a Pixel Tips video, which I'll link somewhere around here, but I will be brief mentioning it again. But it is probably one of the most requested features since Gemini's launch, and that's utility extensions. This was introduced in November of last year, I believe, and with this feature, you can control your Android device using prompts, which include a ton of functions. You can give Gemini prompts, like asking it to open a specific app, like YouTube or Spotify. You can ask it to adjust device features, such as the flashlight, battery saver, volume and brightness, or you can use it to set an alarm. You can use it to control media, and you can also initiate certain actions from the lock screen as well, which is pretty cool. When it comes to utilities, there is so, so much you can do with it, and I'll leave a link for an article on the 9to5Google website with a complete list because there is so much here that it would be a whole video in itself, but if you're not using extensions, you definitely need to use them more often. In closing, my friends, I've been really impressed with Gemini as of late, and as more people get accustomed to AI, I felt it was important to share a basic overview on how you can get the best out of Gemini. This is a great starting point, and trust me, as you get used to using it, you will find more ways it can better suit you personally. With that said, I do want to turn this over to you guys now. Please leave a comment and let me know, are you personally using Gemini these days? And if so, please tell me in deep detail how. I'm sure there is a million different possibilities and everyone has their own niche use cases, and personally, I'd like to get some new ideas from you guys in the comments. In the meantime, I'm getting out of here, but before I do, huge shout out to our channel members on screen right now. Simply put, we greatly appreciate you guys as Damien and I work super hard to make the best Android content on the platform. Until next time, this has been Jordan Floyd with 9to5Google. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.